Previously on The Walking Dead. Who are you, bitch? Who is this woman? Terra's being shot. There you go. Ah, Rip. Carl died for you. Move. Get out of there. You're gonna get shot. Move, hi, and you stay there. You deserve to die. No, 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 no. No, 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 kill him. no, 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 Stupid, 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 stupid. Ah, no. It's clearly a trap, come on. I really like Jadis. I hate the trash people, but I really hope Jadis has quite a big part to play still. Ah, Jadis' story. Or at least this hopefully is going to wrap up wrap up how she managed to get Negan in the car. Where's she going? Well done. <laughs> A very good tactic. She's played lady. Jadis is very resourceful. I think she, I think she can survive anything. She, she still has a role in this. This is pre pre trash pandas. I think. So that was completely wrong. Um, so she went straight back to the dump. She went straight back to the, the rubbish dump. And she's taking him hostage and she's going to torture him. I hope. I really hope she's going to torture him. Just go. You think he's already dead? Is that what you believe? Can you not allow yourself to believe otherwise? You told me to pretend to make it real until it is so, and you cannot. Be optimistic. Be so. I fear for Henry. You, who I thought were the bravest person I met. No. You. Stop by cowardice. Daryl. Look, if Dwight knew, could have warned us, could have sent us a message. Well, maybe he couldn't. He let a whole day go by while our people lay around dying. Everybody else in the battle who got injured got sick. That can't be an accident. So he just gets a pass, is that it? Uh, maybe. Look. You said that we might need him, and we might need him now more than ever. And what I'm saying is that if I had killed him, maybe I would be dead right now. 
Do what you gotta so do. So I think Dwight's gonna have a bit of a role in this in the next episode no, as well. For you. As soon as they attack Hilltop, Dwight has a lot of thinking about what he's gonna be doing. But he has to play it safe, I understand that. But he's gonna get getting killed, especially around Simon. Let alone Negan. Do you... Do you want to read it? Because that's a machine. What did he write you? I don't know. I, I can't. Wait. I can't. You have to. I did it too. When it happened to me. You keep moving to move away from it. Andrea stopped me. And now, I'm stopping you. Carl wrote that because he wanted you to read it. It was one of the last things he ever did. I have a heartfelt episode. You're staying. Just read it. Why wouldn't you read it? It's the last thing you summer. Because Jane's completely right. There's nothing in it that is going to destroy you. Probably. But you can't move on until you... You not going to be able to move on until you... I can't believe that he read Negan. He read Negan's letter straight away, but never read his own. He's clearly just trying to hold on to the, the last thing of Carl that he has. Okay. I'm guessing he thinks that when he's gonna, when he reads it, you don't have to, Morgan. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Carl's gonna be truly gone. gone. I was supposed to see we're the same, and I was sort of supposed to. Where, where and I thought that. They have our bullet maker. They can make more. You think the saber said what he'd need to make them? If they don't, I know where they find it. Well, they're gonna go after Eugene. Fair play. I smell it. Stop the production of bullets and then we have Whatever to use Whatever the that. holy hell happened here, I smell it. That's what, really That's what that fire is about. That salt burning it away. I told you, people are a resource. I don't throw resources like that away. I got a lot of confidence that most people can be put on the right path. My path. I wouldn't have killed all your people. Oh, that was the work of some does not, not care following and she the program. Doesn't. She doesn't believe him. But this, this is my mistake. We've all heard this speech before. I'll own this. Cry wolf. I took a chance on someone, thought I was doing the right thing, and all I did was punch myself in the dick. I am sorry for this. I really am. I'm sorry that you lost all you had. But I know in some way I can help get it back. That we can. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh that was. our best bet to get there. That was a shut the fuck up. Thank you. Or I'll pummel your skull in with your own. That mm -hmm. version of a wife. Turnip. Henry? Oh, no. Henry! God, children always mess up this show. It's usually Carol who ends up killing them. Which might happen again. One can tell. Henry! You know what it is. You were supposed to. You're not here. He's not here. You are not here! Morgan's going a bit crazy. He's there. You know he is. 
I didn't come out here to look for him. I came out here to keep an eye on him. You're not dead. I know. Not me. I don't die. I just see it. Don't cross anyone me. with a rock in their hand. So this episode is all coming at terms of grief. Rick with Carl's death. Getting over your grief. Probably off your own son. Morgan might be grieving over his own son as a result of that. I'm not sure how it's going, but it's it's an episode revolved around grief. Where'd they go? We already told Mag Everett so. Tell me. Sanctuary's our best guess. Pretty much our only guess. There's no dive bar three miles off Edge Hill Parkway. Some of them took me there once. They wanted my expert opinion on what it'd take to turn the place into an outpost. It's between here and there, but the chances that actually nothing. Can you do me a favor? If you happen to find them, don't kill any more of them than you have to. You can show them. By bringing him back, we could do that. He's making a wrong choice, yeah, and he's continuing on the choice you've made, even though you know it's the wrong choice. Hey. Hey. Hey! Let's talk about this! I had nothing to do with this! After what you've done, you expect anyone to believe you. Fucking hell. It's like Resident Evil is in Britain around fucking mutant. But whatever you're doing, you must not really want to do it. Because if you did, you wouldn't have left me sitting here with a bag full of guns. Gotta think these snaps are near and dear. So let's have a chat. Let the healing begin. I'd rather she just we should wait. kills him. Can I Let it pass. She did we one of the weird experiments, so lose seeing if he can defeat that zombie abomination that she created. And if he wins, he goes yeah. free. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But it's not going to be as simple as that, I have a feeling. I have a feeling Henry is dead. He stabbed the zombie in the car, which wouldn't have done anything. And then left his stick. This whole episode is following the grieving process. For everyone. Who saves people? I watch him die. I have to. I'm supposed to. When I tried to run, you found me. You saved me. It's starting to get a last of us feel. I'm strong. All redemption. And lost grief. I was there the whole time watching, watching him. I have to kill him. I have to. <sighs> okay. I sneak a suspicion he's doing this for his son. As much as he is himself. The theme of this episode is dead children, from what I can tell. That's a grief and despair. Leave those pictures alone. I figured they meant something to you. Why did she leave pictures next to him? It, and flares right? and guns in the first place. It's not like you can just pop around the corner and order yourself you know. some prints. I'm gonna ask you one more time. 
What the shit? Hey, this, this is how you kill people with that thing? Slowly. Indeed it is. No. Do you not know her? People are a resource. Move the flare away. Please. They're all I have left. They're all this place has left. You took my world, everything. You took away me. My wife's name was Lucille. She got me through. Interesting development. I didn't give her shit, and she got me through. This life. Regular life. So everyone's going for the grieving process then. The bat. The bat got me through. This. So I named it after her. That's it. Nothing more to do with her than that. But it is the last little piece of her that I got left. Sort of like these snaps for you, huh? Yes. This episode is slow, but deep. Helicopter! What? Just stop. Seriously? I mentioned the helicopter in a previous episode. Is that what the flare's for then? Is this place then? I think Jade is, is hiding a lot of secrets. Too, too fucking bad. I'm here! she's part of a much larger group then. I'm guessing. Now that's a development. his wife I, I didn't burn your pictures I didn't do it I wouldn't that is all I have left to her you oh, burn her and all you have is ashes let's be honest no I get to hurt you I didn't do it I can settle it I swear on my sack I will I can settle it. Okay? This is just a depressing episode, but in a good way. It's very it's very deep, very emotional so far. Everyone's trying to redeem themselves. Morgan. And trying to Morgan. survive. Morgan. Which is I, what this whole you know me. The whole series is about. Not just physically, but mentally. And we finish it. Finish them off. Me. They literally were given a chance. And they'll they'll damn lucky to be given that chance in the first place and they blew it they fled and now they want to kill Rick and the others probably again oh, oh. is that Henry? I'm guessing it is alright then so they're one step ahead Look at them. They're dead already. He's right. Okay. Not angry. <laughs> you pooch it. Nobody carries it. everything we've been through. These are shaky. We got the rules. <sighs> so somebody going down the rest of the dude them. needs to just Case in point, die already. We could have been halfway home by now. But things have changed. So are these never redeem themselves? Delivering Rick to Prick Negan is a win. I fear that it's too late house. for them. Hey. Rick, Morgan. He's away. They're not gonna offer any forgiveness. They're dead already. How's it shine, Curly? You ready to do some walking? Drop dead, seriously. Of course you are. But it's not too late. You cut Rick is moves, usually you cooperate. He usually sticks his words. We'll give you a fresh start. 
a I chance don't to become it. part of our community, to become one of us. I'm giving it's, you my word. It's too late. There's not a lot that's worth much these days, but a man's word has got to mean something, right? There isn't any herd. There isn't any deal waiting back at Hilltop. You think these asswipes came here to save us? They came here for blood. Hell, this one strangled one of his own guys to death with his own hands. Well, what did you do? You know, fucking angel All sunshine. What I'm saying here is a steaming pile of bullshit. So fucked. Well, oh, you're right. And then after, after when you're just torn skin and my man looks like John Krasinski. Blood, when you're nothing but the stuff that they didn't eat, well, that'll be a damn shame. Because there won't be a single one of you left for me to kill. And I don't die. I don't. Nobody dies. Because everybody turns. Ooh. Hey, everybody oh, turns. Hey, you two, him. You ruin our chances for getting back to Hilltop. That's a great speech. Oh, I'm yes. distracted. You got to break Yes, we've already killed you. Told you they were done. Get the long head. I don't care about the rest. The rest is fine, whatever. Get long head. Yeah. Yeah. You are not forgiven. Okay, Morgan. I'm never happy to see anyone die usually, but certain people. Negan, Simon, and this fucker. Relish is so much. No, you've got it, Morgan. You've got it, Morgan. Push him. Given at least. After. After this. But they must die. Forgiven but not trusted. Why'd you do it? We should go. He has something to live for still. He still has a chance. Why'd you save me? You had your son there. No, you did. I know. Yeah. Still has something to live for. Why did you save me? Why? What's it to live for now? Because my son was there. There was still hope. But there is still hope. Clearly. Always hope. Was just letting him 
go. No. No. Yes, he he has some regret, some mercy, some heart. But no. Hey, you want to tell me what the hell happened here? What that was all about? At least leave him with like one eye or something. For Carl. You come with me, you know. You don't deserve any information. Follow a new path. She's too clever. Oh no. Oh, it's alive. You know what I was actually expecting to do? But maybe that's Carl's intention. She finally doesn't have to kill every child she ever meets. <laughs> she can actually save the child. Smiley is always really happy all the time. Right here, yo. <laughs> so Carol's a mother, and she's only witnessed and been involved in children dying, including her own child. She's now she's managed to save a child, redeemed himself. You were right. By killing the person that killed that child's brother. That's right. Getting revenge, so to speak. And opening up about his own child and his own son's death. This episode is so deep today. <laughs> now Carol's opening up. After I lost her, I, I was nothing. This is such an important episode of character development. But the people I was with, being. Myself. Some version of myself, a better self. Still, it always feels like it could just be swept away again. But that doesn't mean it will. And, and it doesn't mean that I couldn't find myself again. Real. Don't like this music. I um. I killed him. I killed the man who killed your brother. I did. I killed him. I'm sorry. No. No. I'll never be sorry. I think he's finally grieving over the loss of his son. Finally. Now it's time for Rick's. Now it's time for Rick to grieve. He needs to read that letter. I don't think he's about it. So much for living like garbage. Jadis, she has a lot of secrets. They're living quite well. Clean environment. Everything you saw was just like external. It was what they wanted people to believe they were, but they were really intelligent. They only spoke like that, I'm guessing, to other people. But amongst themselves, it's been normally. And the helicopter, the research lab, all that sort of stuff I mentioned before. Jesus Christ. There's a lot, a lot more secrets to come out of Davis. Holy 
hell. The shit could shit, it still wouldn't look as shitty as you. Who is it? Get in. Who could that even be, anyway? Hell yes I am. But you're not gonna say a word, you understand? Shit's that is about to hit the fan. be a surprise. Yeah, I got all sorts of surprises to roll out. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, Simon. Well, looks like you're right. It's up in Simon mind. says nothing. Yeah. Because he's dead. Buckets of casing. You have to take him out. We don't take out the machines. We take out the man. Take him or kill him. There's no other way. He's the only one that can make bullets. He hasn't trained anyone yet, I don't think. You know how to do it. I could be wrong. Here we go. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. I love you. I love you too. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> I was expecting maybe to get a glimpse of what you're saying, but clearly not. Well, that's that. So, what can I say about this episode? Um, it was very well written. The dialogue, the acting was amazing. This is one of the better episodes of this series. Um, I was really surprised about you know it's it was it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Clearly, this episode revolves entirely around grief and getting over your grief and the loss of your loved ones. Um, Rick was with Carl along with Michonne. Uh, you had Negan and his wife Lucille and talking about the things that he's lost. Jadis and her group of people who she said herself were just, they were everything and she's lost everything. Um, you had Carol with the loss of her daughter. And also in the loss and finding of Henry, you got Morgan in the loss of his son. This is all about losing what you hold closest to you, whether it's your wife or whether it's your child. And about getting over your grief. Carol got over her grief with finding Henry, Morgan after meeting Henry again and being with Rick. And by killing all the saviours that he did, he sort of made up to Henry for the people that killed his brother, but also made up for his own son's death. From what I can tell, Morgan is starting to see Henry as his own child almost, um, and he would do anything for him, and that includes killing those saviours that were involved in the death of his brother. Um, Carol is starting to see the same. It's a nice touch that Lucille was named after Negan's wife before she died. I'm not sure why he's saying that Lucille, the bat, is the you know the last thing of hers that he has. I'm sure the baseball bat didn't belong to his wife, but I'm guessing he took that name. I'm guessing the name Lucille is the last thing he has of his wife, and as the bat's called Lucille, I understand that. Um, the last thing. Jadis has is the photographs, although the helicopter, that's like a major thing. I mean, they mentioned in the previous episode that there was a helipad and maybe like old hospital or, or research center, whatever they said. So it's interesting that there's a helicopter coming, I'm guessing, to see if there's any survivors or to pick them up. So clearly, from what I can tell, Jadis', Jadis group is much, much larger um, and they they have access to fuel helicopters. They're obviously, you know, you know, relatively nearby. I'm guessing not so distant facility of some sort. Um, so it's interesting that you know Jadis has a lot more to come. We're going to see people. We're going to be seeing a lot more of her and a lot more of. I reckon the next series will revolve around this this additional faction of people in which the helicopter belongs to so that's that's an interesting interesting concept 
Um, the fact that Rick and Morgan killed all of those saviors, I mean, they had to, they escaped, they were given a chance. I mean, many people wouldn't have given them a chance. They were given a chance and they fled. And obviously tried to kill Rick, tried to kill Morgan. As far as I'm concerned, even if the others seem to side with Rick by the end of it, they all needed to go. Especially Mr. Longhair Twat. Um, and it's good that Morgan didn't kill him with his own hands. He said that he killed him. He let he let the walkers kill him, which I think is a more horrific death and probably a more deserved death than dying quickly. Overall, yeah, I was very impressed with this episode. It's very well written. Um, it's, it's a slower episode, but I didn't mind. There's you know there's there's lots of depth to it. Lots of character development. And now they're getting over the grieving process. They can move on with their lives and, you know, focus on what's more important. So I think in the next episode, we're going to be seeing more of, well, more of Eugene. I'm guessing Eugene's going to end up getting kidnapped or maybe even killed. Probably not. I hope not. I hope he's still... I hope he's, I hope you I hope he can still be saved. But at the moment, yeah, no, the right to take him out in whatever way possible because he's the only person that can make bullets, so that's a very good tactic. And in the next episode we might see more of Jadis, I don't think we will. I think maybe at the end of the series. Um and I think yeah, the shit's gonna go down. It's all gonna be about Simon, it's gonna be Negan is going to flip with his own people for turning their back on him and for killing off you know a whole you know a whole group of people who could be traded with who could be on your side even if it is only for a second before they keep switching back and forth so i'm going to watch another episode today i'm quite tired but i'm still going to do it um, and that'll be released shortly after this one. So, yeah, I'd like to hear your opinions. Tell me what you think of this episode. Um, um, I'll be sure to reply back with my own theories, my own comments regarding that. And yeah, other than commenting, please subscribe. Um, and yeah, please subscribe. Um, like, keep commenting on my links, and thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Stay tuned for more. Stupid, 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 stupid.